Hey, this is Sabrina, and I'm going to show you how to edit your um, email templates on Teachable. So what we're going to do is from the back end of Teachable, you're going to go into the email setting. Um, and then you're going to go down to template editor. For some reason, I couldn't see it there for a second. So what you want to do here is first you want to select a template at the top. Um, now, it can be a little tricky at first to figure out which template is which one you're looking for. Um, so it's kind of a trial and error sometimes in this process. Um, now, you do have a couple different sections. You do have um, the students section. So this is emails that go to the students based off of whatever action is taking place. So if they enroll in a new course, if... Um, if they have a sign up confirmation get sent to them, if they need their quiz reset. So there's a few different options here. Now down at the bottom, you have owners and authors, which are the emails that go to you and your team members that you have set up within Teachable. So for example, when there's a new student that signs up for a course, we have a certain email that happens here. Um, if they enroll in a course, we have an option that happens here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe um, I believe that the sign up is the purchase trigger and the enrollment is if you manually add them. I could have that backwards. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure these out. I believe new student sign up just signed up on. Let's see, new enrollment. I believe that the enrollment is the free one, um, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, in here, what you can do is you go into um, your settings. So let's say I want to edit the email that comes to me when there's a new comment um, that's awaiting moderation. So on here, we can go in and let's say we want to change this text that says um, view full comment. And let's say I wanted to say view complete comment here. You just go in and you edit that text. And then when you're done, you just hit save and then publish. Now, if you hit the reset button, it will go ahead and reset it back to factory settings. So if, if you mess something up, it's really easy to go back in and just have it reset back to the way it was um, in Teachable before you went in and edited it. Um, there is no back button, but a neat little trick is on your keyboard. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's command. If you're on a PC, it's control. You can do command or control Z and that undoes the last thing that you did. Um, and you should be able to undo numerous things. So if I say here and then I go down here and I say whatever I want, if I do command Z, it's going to undo that one. I do it one more time. It's going to undo the task before that. Um, I think it'll go up to like 10 undos before it stops tracking them. So you may not be able to undo everything if you've done a whole lot of stuff without hitting this reset button, um, but you can definitely undo a few of your most recent um, edits in here. Now, this does use code. Um, that is the one thing I'm not too fond of because a lot of people don't understand code. Luckily, I understand the HTML coding um, a little bit, so it makes it easy for me to add a paragraph in here, um, add a new break, add headings, um, so you may learn a little bit about that before playing with this. Um, but like I said, if you if you mess up anything, you can always go back and reset it. Um, but that is pretty much it. I, I wouldn't recommend going in and messing with the templates um, on your own unless you are familiar with this HTML coding. Um, you can also reach out to the Teachable support team. They're very, very helpful. And if there's something that you want to add in there, they're usually pretty helpful with helping you find a solution to do that. So that is how to edit your templates. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get updates on any new videos that we add. Thanks.